Good morning and welcome to day number 25 of 40 Days for Life. And I know that a lot of people have been wondering and very curious and anxious about the results of the big El Paso Giving Day that we had on Thursday, two days ago. So we got the results in yesterday, of course, but we had a lot to talk about yesterday. And we were kind of just waiting to make sure all the numbers came in. But uh, with very little notice in preparation, we had at least 63 donors who gave through the El Paso Giving Day platform and raised an amazing $22,470, which actually put us ranked as the number three, uh, at least in the medium-sized nonprofit. So they had all the nonprofits divided by small budget, uh, medium budget, or large budget. We fall into that middle range. And so in our category, we ranked number three again, which is interesting. We were number three last year as well. And... Um, Ranked number one was the Lo- the Loretto Academy Challenge Program that raised $49,000. Number two was the El Paso Holocaust Museum and Study Center, which raised $27,000. And then us in number three with the $22,475 that I mentioned. Um, under us was the Zoological Society. And then number five was the Borderland Rainbow Center. So it was kind of interesting how those ranked in relation. So, uh, but the key thing was that we actually had several donors who did uh, kind of helped with that matching opportunity and did stay up on the 14th until midnight. And as soon as the clock turned 12, they processed their donation. And within 14 seconds, we actually got the full matching challenge capped, which was um, which was capped at ten thousand dollars per organization this year. So, so, uh, and then I was slightly frustrated too. I actually, in the emails I sent out, I had one link that still pointed to our main website and donation page, not the El Paso Giving Day page specifically. And we ended up having at least seventeen people who gave an extra almost two thousand dollars, one thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars through our website, which was fantastic. Uh, However, fortunately, those numbers did not get calculated into the El Paso Giving Day totals. So, but nevertheless, so so all of that combined, though, with even the matching challenge, uh, plus what was donated, plus the little extra was, it turned out to be 80 people who raised a total of $34,353 in just 24 hours. That's amazing to come together and to help moms and save babies and end abortion in the borderline. So thank you for making that possible. Um, Our friends over at Guiding Star at the Pregnancy Center, they were in the large category with a larger budget, and they came in at number 18, raising over $15,000, and then Planned Parenthood, of course. Uh, They trailed behind everyone again at number 27 in that same large category organization category they had raised a little over eleven thousand dollars so um still have got our work cut out for us and uh hopefully that's not not enough to keep them uh open much longer because we are next of course praying that planned parenthood decides to up and skedaddle as well so keep that in prayer another couple dates to keep in mind is that on October 22nd, which is this Thursday, uh, there will be a a um, virtual fundraiser for our friends over at the West Side Pregnancy Center that just opened. This is actually is their inaugural fundraising event, and they didn't have they weren't able to have it in person, so they are having a virtual uh, webcast style event on October 22nd of this week. And they are having a special guest, Claire Colwell, who we had down a few years ago, but she actually is a twin abortion survivor, uh, which is crazy. Um, Just a really unique, one-of-a-kind story. Uh, Young girl at like 13 was pretty much coerced into having an abortion and afterwards was still experiencing an ongoing pregnancy. And turns out the mom had been pregnant with twins. And so one twin was aborted and one survived. And that's crazy because, like, Claire, you look at her and you can pretty much see the face of an aborted person. 
So, uh, oh, and then the other thing to keep in mind is so that's October 22nd. October 27th, five days later, is the virtual fundraiser for our other friends over on the east side of El Paso at Pregnancy and Fatherhood Solutions. And they are having Victoria Robinson, who is an amazing speaker from Save the Storks, come and speak at their events. So definitely check those out. But that being said, let us move into our devotional for day number 25. The scripture today is John chapter 9 verse 4 that says, Jesus answered, we have to do the works of the one who sent me while it is day. Today's prepared reflection says that as a believer in Christ, we know that he calls us to do good works out of love for him and in obedience to him. Yet there is a struggle within us. We know that with God all things are possible, and that we are to pray for God's will in all things. So we are to work, and yet also pray. Pray for God to give us the wisdom, the knowledge, the courage, and the fortitude to do the right things, and to do the right work. We also must surrender our own will and desires to Him, and leave the final outcome to the Lord. And we pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord of heaven and earth, we humbly implore you to hear our prayer to enlighten men's hearts with the light of your love and truth. Give each and every 40 days for life participant in El Paso and Santa Teresa the courage and the fortitude to continue to persevere in their prayer and fasting and peaceful vigil and community outreach. Do not be afraid to bring awareness to the tragedy of the local abortion centers taking place right in our own backyard. Lord, we really need that courage, that boldness, yet loving gentleness. Help each and every one of us to do the works that you have set out for us to do. Please, dear Lord, drive this evil out of our community, our region, our nation, and the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, as always, for your sacrificial support of our mission, your daily prayers for our team, and your witness of hope and of mercy. I look forward to seeing you on the sidewalk. God bless.